What's up everyone, it's Joey, Flush Response, and today we're checking out the Flight of Harmony Infernal Noise Machine. This is a twisted and chaotic noise maker for your rack that I'm super excited to demo. Let's get right into it. All right, so we got the noise machine here, the Infernal Noise Machine. Flight of Harmony sent me this over and I'm really excited. Let's see if we can make some melodic deep house with it. So what have we got here? Basically we have this this infernal noise machine core here with the two joysticks that occupy certain frequency ranges that interact with VCO and these filters in these two VCAs to, to fuck things up. This is not for making music, guys. We're not going to do music here. <laughs> um, let's just take a listen. Basically, you have this knob that is called domain and that determines the basic frequency range of the noise source uh, that modulates the VCO. And you have different waveforms for your VCO. I have it going through Mimeophone, of course, because you need delay with these sorts of things, and I like listening to things through delay in general. But... It's... It's just interesting. So we got different waveforms. You can tune your VCO. You have these two filters, which I believe are based on the old school Plague Bearer circuit. One of the first Eurorack modules I ever had. It's a bandpass filter. Let's get to like a reasonable, reasonable frequency here. The filters are very subtle more like tone controls and there's not resonance now there's an interaction between the uh, the VCO and the infernal noise machine so with the domain control what I understand is you want to have them close in frequency range and as you bring up the modulation depth you start getting side bands and this is kind of where the magic is with the infernal noise machine you have to very carefully dial in I just introduced some delay, but you have to very carefully dial in these these sorts of frequencies with the joysticks, and you can adjust the range of the joysticks with these width knobs in case you want to get more fine tunings, because it is a very touchy device. It's your dry again. So now I tune the VCO lower, so we'll go to a lower domain. And these domains 1 through 8 are frequency ranges. You can go way out of your hearing range. Like, you cannot be hearing anything. I'm sure my cats might go crazy if I had the speakers on. But see here we're in domain 6. It's a lot like radio, EMF noise type of stuff. So now I don't ever need to buy an EMF detecting device. And with a bit of delay, reverb maybe. Got some sample sources there. Ooh. <laughs> Dry. I love those little sputtering kind of engine start noises. Messing with the delay a bit. So in some respects, it's a simple device, but it's also, you know, a very... It's something you have to put a lot of time in to learn. It requires a lot of patience, is what I meant to say, because there's so many different spots of sound to, to comb through to find. Like, ooh, that little siren just came in. Also, from tweaking the knobs, So, yeah, it's weak in the course. We'll adjust it with the fine. Maybe change the VCO waveform. It 
dry. Let's bring in some modulation. I'm gonna use the Kermit for this, and we'll just see what happens. Also note, you've got this master volume control here under the second joystick, uh, but the VCAs also have separate gains because there's two sound sources. So let's modulate them. There you go. A little bit of delay. And we can tune that lower. I found this is really cool for making rhythmic grooves to go along with in the background of a track or, or even a kind of a percussive loop if you tune really low. You could sometimes get sort of kick drummy grooves. Introduce the level back in. See, there's a little bit of a percussiveness happening there. Taking out the CV for now. So you could build something off that. Rhythm providing the drums. Let's let's play with that groove a bit. This is this is a machine full of happy accidents. Domain 4, some nice drone action. Let's speed up the tempo a bit. It's really about finding the right range with the joysticks. Let's bring back that CV. I'm gonna clock the Kermit. Let's try a different domain higher up. little bit more gain. Here dry soloed. Bring it back. And this is just two LFOs modulating it. A little bit of delay.
messing with the filter, filter CV. Nice band pass. You have the expander, which has additional LFO outs. We'll have them modulate the filter. Again, just a bit of amplitude modulation. Filtering out that high hat. You know what? I'm gonna take the joystick out and use it to modulate the mimeophone uh, rate. The micro rate input. And we'll use the other output. Hmm. I'll use the fine joystick. And we'll use the other output to modulate the zone control, or no, the repeats. Try the coarse one. You can see, you can hear. This is 100% wet. You can hear all this flanging. Introducing some halo. So, you know, you think, okay, you're looking at this and you're like, you got two filters, two VCAs, this noise source, the oscillator, and that's cool. But then you have the joysticks. So this is like a whole patchable thing within your system. And that, that ability to interconnect, I think, is really important. So then think about it, you're getting two joysticks. Let's just hear it. See, I, I went to zone eight, I lost it. Let's see what we can find. And that's the thing, this machine really rewards exploration and I can say that I haven't, I definitely haven't fully mastered this. There's a lot here. You know, this is something that can keep you busy for a very long time just exploring every single corner. Especially with the the range of stuff it has. Okay, so here we're still modulating the mimiphone, but that's literally the output from the infernal noise machine. It's it's almost nothing. You also have this tone control. Which blends between the noise source and a low pass filter. See, okay, like what do we find here? Introduce more modulation. Change waveform. Bring back the delay. Half time. There's really so much to be found. I 
I love these sorts of radio tuning noises. I'm really curious about these high frequency zones. I'm feeling some like Mika Vanio vibes with this. I, I bet Ilpo would love this. In fact, I'm gonna send him this video. <laughs> then, like, that's a sound right there. That's something I would use. How's it in the group? Okay. Actually, kind of in time. What is that like? Ugh. Tuning the VCR. Yeah. Free in the memory for. Tuning that flange. And of course, you could do this with any delay. That interaction is so beautiful. It's like, oh, let's bring back in the amplitude modulation. And what if we do a clock division? to flip the delay buffer into reverse. Yeah. Add some halo. Let's hear our dry signal. That's dope too. Hard not to nudge the joysticks. Gotta be very delicate. Just change the domain. Find a new rhythm. This is dry, and as a drone box, it's nasty. Deep bass. Ooh. It's, it's big and burly. And yeah, what I did here with, is I made the Kermit go audio rate. But let's take that out. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this one. 
And you know, I've been using it quite a bit, but I'm really learning as I go here. So I really appreciate, really appreciate the strangeness. That's one thing I like about doing these videos is I'm forced to really come at it, come at them with an open perspective and then it helps me, it helps me in my own tracks. <laughs> what did I just find? Oh, I love those subtle spotters. Bring the delay back. And like, what is even happening there? <laughs> it's, it's doing its own kind of progression. It's got a mind of its own. I don't even want to touch it, it's so good right now. And yeah, rhythm throwing down. Complete happy accident here, love it. I'm thinking about downgrading my rhythm to a Mark I, because I like the black. I thought about getting the black Mark II, but I don't like the gray and nobody likes the gray, it seems. No one wants to buy my gray one, so. I thought about going to the Mark 1. You know, the Mark 2 is awesome, but it's not that different. I don't need the sampling. I don't know if I need the quick performance knob, but it's still amazing. Or maybe just keep the gray, but I, it's, I can't stand it. All right. Uh, I don't even want to touch this because it's so perfect right now. Let's change waveform. What's the least destructive thing we can do? Oh yeah, and the filter game getting nasty. Oh, I right, lost it, so we're out. So yeah. That's the noise machine. Lots of sweet spots to be found. And yeah, many a phone. Oh, right up here. Which again could be any delay. Now no delay.
Infernal Noise Machine. So that was really fun. I think the Infernal Noise Machine definitely lives up to its name. It's chaotic and uncontrollable and tastes just the right way for me. It reminds me in some ways of the Shard, which I plan to review soon as well. Uh, it's dope, fully patchable within your system so you can integrate all its VCAs, filters, the joysticks and everything to control and modulate other stuff as well as itself. Really smartly done. Amazing if you're looking for a full noise voice and more. As always, samples from this jam are gonna be on my Patreon. You can learn from me, get the synth patches, ask me questions. There's a lot going on on Patreon. It'd be awesome if you join me there. Don't forget to smash like and subscribe here as well. Peace out.